This is so worth the money. It looks like an alien world in here, honestly. There's electric eels in the water. It's just so cool. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to yet another video. We're coming back at you from Vietnam once again. We're still here and we're still loving it. Today, we're gonna be doing something that I'm really excited about. We're gonna be exploring some caves here in Vietnam. And Vietnam actually has so many caves, over 300 massive cave systems. And the location that we're going to today is a national park that has the world's biggest and longest cave. And I don't know if we're gonna be exploring that one specifically, but we are gonna be exploring a couple caves in the national park in that area and showing you guys everything. We're really excited to do this and it's really cool. There's some caves with like underground rivers that flow through them and everything like that. And we'll be exploring these massive caves and we're really excited to show you guys all. We're currently in the city of Dong Hoi and it's about a 45 minute drive away from Phong Na where the national park is located. And we're here at our hotel currently. It's called Nam Long Plus and it's costing us $17 a night. And honestly, it's one of the best hotels we've ever stayed at. The room is definitely the biggest that we've ever had. It's very spacious. It's all newly renovated and it looks beautiful. So if you guys want to do this cave exploration experience, make sure you guys check this hotel out because it's amazing. And yeah, we're just waiting for our ride right now to be picked up to go to the caves. The Struggle Queen. But check out this room for $14 a night. It's the biggest room we've ever had. The most spacious. It's hard to show it on camera, but it's massive. We got a fridge, a kettle, a TV. Who knows what's in here? Everything. AC, a lot of plugs. That right there is a YouTuber's dream because we got to plug a lot of stuff in. We got a whole walk-in closet over here. We might just stay here for a month. <laughs> and the bathroom is also very nice. The nicest we've seen. Yeah, we're, we got a river view. You can see the river outside. Right there. We're in this little neighborhood right here. And check out the bathroom. We got a bathtub. It's actually super clean, super nice. Nice bathtub. And also one of the first Canadians in two years that she's seen. Yes. Water heater, essential. And there's the throne. And that's it. <laughs> Here is the bus that came to pick us up. And we're heading to Phong Na right now. Like I said, it should take about 45 minutes. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. cost us $85 each and just the drive here alone is worth the money it is absolutely stunning you can see everything around me how gorgeous it is the drive from Dong Hai to Phong Na is about an hour and a half there's gonna be two caves that we're exploring today one in the morning one in the afternoon the first cave we're explore exploring is called Paradise Cave it's actually the longest dry cave in Asia spanning 31 kilometers long and we are so excited to go into this cave we're so pumped and we just can't believe how beautiful it is around us and we're just so excited we can't say that enough the area here is crazy crazy mountainous 
we just stopped for a little photo break over here and yeah lots of mountains all around us as you can tell i also forgot to mention that she said that 80 percent of the mountains in this area are limestone mountains that's yeah. crazy 80 percent we just finished taking our photos and right now we're headed back in the van and we're going to be heading to paradise cave We made it to the parking lot of Paradise Cave and we're just parking the van that we came here in. And just like any other tourist attraction and place, you're gonna have all your tourist shops with all your souvenirs, your washroom of course, and restaurants and other things like that. This place has a lot of shops. This parking lot's actually really big. And just look how pretty the mountains are. I'm never gonna stop mentioning it because it's just so beautiful. And we can't wait to start this tour. We got a couple kilometer walk that we just started to head towards Paradise Cave and it should be quite a scenic walk right in the jungle right here. It looks beautiful surrounded by all the different mountains, trees and everything like that. So, And of course like Zay mentioned plenty of shops to shop at. Here are the prices for the tickets if you're just coming here without a tour to enter Paradise Cave. You do have the option to walk all the way to Paradise Cave, but I guess we're not gonna be walking because you have another option, which is taking these buggies. And they just bought tickets for us and we're gonna be taking this one right here. Do you wanna sit in the back and go backwards? Yes. <laughs> Zay's got the adventure spirit. <laughs> we have started our little trek towards the cave after we got dropped off on our little buggy. And it's uphill. So we're getting our exercise in, that's good. As always. <laughs> We finally made it up to the entrance of Paradise Cave and we're about to go down in the cave. We are extremely, extremely excited. Like I had mentioned before, this cave is about 31.4 kilometers in length. So that's, it will take us probably all day plus more to explore it all. But we're only going to be exploring the first one kilometer of this cave entering from this side. And if you want to take an adventure tour, you can go further. But once we go down here, we're gonna be on a wooden path. And if you wanna go further than the one kilometer with an adventure tour, you would have to have a headlamp on with a helmet and you're gonna be trekking the rocks of the cave and you have to swim there and you have to like kneel down and go prone and everything like that and crawl around because it does get quite narrow in certain parts. And I heard that you can actually go down there and take a kayak because there's rivers that run along this cave as well. So if you take a different tour, it would be also really cool. And yeah, let's go down and check it out. This cave is freaking massive. And in the ceiling, you can see the stalactites coming down on the ground. Even behind me, this one right here is a stalagmite coming up from the ground. A stalactite and a stalagmite is a formation. It's a mineral that's in the water, calcium carbonate. And this cave is full of them. It is so cool. I can't stop looking around. And it's massive. Believe it or not, this cave was actually discovered by accident. A guy was hunting in the woods and he felt a wind like a cold draft. He followed the draft and discovered the cave. There's only three entrances along the entire cave. We're actually at the first entrance. The actual discovery entrance is the second entrance that we don't see right now and this was discovered pretty recently. It was discovered in 2005, and it was made open for tourists in 2010. So this cave has only been open for 12 years for people to actually explore. We have about an hour to explore the cave over here, which gives us plenty of time because it's only one kilometer that we can explore with these steps over here. But as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Right behind me is the entrance to the cave that we came through. It's right up there, if you can see it, the little light up there. And it's crazy that we're not even, like we're, we just entered right now, like five minutes ago, and we're already like so low in the cave and how massive the cave is, it's really, really cool to explore. 
we wouldn't say something is worth the money unless we actually mean it and this is so worth the money this cave is basically a gigantic hole in the ground that you're walking through it's so freaking big it's so cool pictures and videos do not do it justice you have to see this in person it's literally like being in a movie i swear it's so cool As you're walking every single turn you take it gets cooler and cooler there's all kinds of different formations and I don't know if you guys hear it on camera you probably don't but as we're walking you can hear the drips coming from the ceiling and we were told that all these stalagmites and stalactites form very very slowly like literally 0.01 millimeters per year so in order for all this to form it takes hundreds and thousands of years and we were told that these caves actually are so old that they're like 300 to 400 million years old look at how cool this looks you can see the water being collected over there it is so cool guys nature is beautiful to put it simply <laughs> yes look how cool the water is up top there it looks so reflective you can't even tell Oh, that's water? Yeah. That's so cool. That is so awesome. One other thing that we keep getting, getting lucky with is that this place is not too busy. I know you guys are seeing some tourists like walking by and checking out the cave. But usually in high season, this would be way busier than it is now. Like thousands of people yes. here. You can see there's a tons of carts that transport people and they're basically like not really operational right now because there's not too many people, only one, at, one or two at a time. I'm gonna be quiet just for one second so you guys can hear the water dripping from the ceiling because it's really cool right now. When you're walking through the cave, you think that you've seen the coolest part of the cave and you continue walking and it just keeps getting cooler and cooler and cooler and every second we're stopping, taking pictures, admiring and it's just so cool. We can't get that, we can't say that enough. The temperature in this cave is actually very cool. It was a bit chilly outside today, this morning, so we wore long sleeves and we did not have to take them off in the cave. It's actually pretty cool in here. It's really nice. It's not hot. It's not humid. And that's something to think about when you're coming here. We just made it to the end of the explorable area of this cave right here. And behind me, actually, there's a little gate over here that you can open. And this is where the rest of it starts. If you are on an adventure tour, you would go through here and then the cave gets dark there. So you need the helmets and the lights to keep exploring. But this was very awesome to explore so far and we can't wait to get to the second cave. But right now we're gonna go back out and have some lunch. Like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, the Fongna region houses the biggest cave in the entire world. And unfortunately, we're unable to explore that today and neither is anyone else because you have to book a year in advance to explore that cave and the costs are also astronomically high. It's $3,000 US to explore that cave and go on an adventure there. And it's a multi-day, multi-night adventure where you have to camp and sleep inside the jungles. And you can actually do a five day ex adventure where you go in the cave and you explore it for five days and you camp in the jungles like I was saying. And that would be so cool. I think that one costs around 6,000 US dollars per person. And you know what, we're gonna manifest it right now that on this channel, hopefully at some point, we'll be able to go and explore that cave. The cave that I'm talking about is called Han San Dung Cave. 
and it actually has its own jungle it has rivers in it and its own climate believe it or not so it's just so cool and in this expedition you get to go in the water you have to actually swim and all kinds of crazy stuff you have to rappel down the walls of the cave and it's definitely something that we're looking to do in the future we made it outside of the cave we are at the entrance again waiting for the rest of our tour group and then we're gonna have lunch actually we also wanted to mention look at how small this entrance is and when you go inside it's a, gi a gigantic massive cave if this was covered by plants and other rocks you would literally never ever see this or discover it there's actually still a lot of caves in Vietnam that have yet to be discovered and explored. So we made it to the restaurant and this is our view right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful river. And you can see there's possibility of do doing some activities here. We will not be doing any because it doesn't include, it's not included in our tour, but it's called Dark Cave, the place we're at right now, the restaurant. And we're gonna head in there and let's see what we get for lunch. There's also a zip line here. So that's another activity you can do. <laughs> Lots of activities around here. You can definitely spend a couple days exploring the caves and doing all kinds of activities. The lunch that we just had was so delicious. It was an entire extensive menu of different things as well as soup and it was really delicious. We enjoyed it. Now we are heading to the next cave, it's called Phong Na Cave and actually the town in which it's in was named after it. We have made it to Phong Na Cave, well not the cave yet but we're quite close to it and you can see there's a whole bunch of boats behind me and that is because we're going to be entering the caves with the boats and this cave is about 22 kilometers from Paradise Cave and we're really excited to explore this one as well especially after seeing the first one was so incredible. It is way chillier in the north than I expected. The more north we're going, the chillier it's getting. So I'm happy that I brought the sweater because the long sleeve was not enough. We just got on the boat and they told us it's about a six kilometer ride, which is gonna take us about a half hour to get to the cave. different experience there's a giant river on in the cave and we're exploring it mostly by boat right now you go it's kilometer deep with the boat and then on the way back there are a set of stairs that you get dropped off at to walk through a part of the cave but it's a completely different vibe than the other cave this place is just as massive as the other one and it's beautiful like I can't stop staring at all the different formations and water and fun fact, the water is actually like 20 meters deep and there's electric eels in the water. So do not fall in there. <laughs> we just finished exploring Phong Na Cave with the boat and it was spectacular. You guys saw the footage, I mean, there's really not much to say about it. You have to come here in person and check it out, but it was very beautiful. It was like crazy. This cave is actually discovered a thousand years ago and some interesting facts here. It was actually used by the Vietnam Army in the Vietnam War as a hospital and just as a hiding spot because obviously it's underground and it's a cave and they would use boats made of like different things to come in here and hide and it's super cool. Right now we just got off the boat and we're gonna have to go by foot. We're gonna exit the cave by foot and check out how massive this cave is as well. The scale doesn't quite come out on camera but you guys are just gonna have to believe that it's absolutely massive the weather in this cave is definitely a bit more humid it's not as cool 
and there's a lot more water dripping in this cave it's a lot more wet obviously because of the river as well and another fun fact the entrance of the river there's only one entrance which is the cave that we came in with the boat and they said during rainy season when it's super super rainy here the entrance actually gets covered because the river rises so high and there is no entrance to the cave just for scale for comparison here there's a and this is how big all the stalactites and stalagmites are and the cave itself is very high up and awesome yeah like you literally have to bend your neck like all the way to like look up you know That's so cool right. and all the different formations are just so cool it looks like an alien world in here honestly yeah. <laughs> you could definitely film a movie in here and make it look like an alien world so cool Depending on the different types of minerals that are coming down from the cave, you can see that the colors of the formations are different. So, it's very cool looking. entrance of this cave right here which is now an exit I guess because we're exiting from here <laughs> but it's actually the entrance where we came in with the boat and we're saying farewell to this beautiful beautiful cave and I think Zay and I well I already was but I think Zay is cave obsessed as well right now <laughs> I don't know if I could say that. Is really it true? Cool. Yeah, I love it. It's super, super cool. If you've never been anywhere like this and never done anything like this, we highly recommend it. Yes, we can't say it enough. So this is the last stop in our tour today. And after this, we're just going to be heading back to our hotel. So we're going to end the video off here. We really hope you guys enjoyed everything we had to show you today. If you loved it, please comment down below what your favorite part was. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.